for an old dog, Cody here is having a pretty great day. He likes his ears scratched. But Lacey Duffett tells me life hasn't always been a walk in the park. Her 11 year old dog is a cancer survivor. You can see on the back foot where that little black mark is. Earlier this year, Cody joined research at the University of Kansas Medical Center, where scientists are testing a new kind of chemo injected right into the tumors. It's showing promise. I was a little skeptical at first just because I know what it makes humans do, you know, chemo. All right, we're happy. This is good. Dr. Daniel Aries study could go to human trials in just a couple years. To see it move into this stage where we're able to actually help some dogs with wild cancers in the real world is just incredibly fulfilling. It just doesn't get better than that. Aries is working with people whose pets are already sick. It's the exception in the research world. 61,101 dogs were tested in laboratories last year. Well, beagles are the breed most commonly used in research. It's because of their size, but also because they're generally good natured dogs. 362 dogs were in tests last year where they felt pain but got no medication, and about a quarter of those tests were done in Missouri. Animal advocates are fighting testing they see as inhumane. Many dogs and cats still suffer in taxpayer subsidized research laboratories. I love you. The LA based Beagle Freedom Project has rescued nearly a thousand animals from research labs nationwide. We need a better system. We're not anti science or anti research, but frankly, you could have a more predictive model for drug safety by flipping a coin than testing on a dog. One local scientist argues that's because lab tests are contrived. Real world studies get better results. We would not want to take a drug ourselves before it was adequately tested. The hard reality, those tests take more time too. Precious moments as researchers fight for a cure. At the University of Kansas Medical Center, Haley Harrison, KMBC 9 News. The FDA often requires scientists study on lab animals. KU last did lab test on dogs three years ago as part of a study on a male contraceptive. Three of the four dogs involved were adopted as pets. One was, was euthanized. And we found both Mizzou and Kansas State had a couple hundred dogs in their labs last year. And we're waiting to receive records from both schools and we'll let you know what we find.